Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Let's Play Cities Skylines and I forgot to hit the record button so I'll just go quickly over what I've been doing in the last five minutes. I have been reducing this, uh, change the district from a, what is it called? Don't let me lie, district policies. Um, industrial space planning zone to a regular zone. I removed that because then they produce less goods and now we have a whole lot of people dying again. That is fairly odd. Twitter's not telling me anything. Uh, what a great city. I think I'm dreaming if I didn't know otherwise. Thank you so much. Um, doesn't tell me a whole lot. Uh, if we go to Def Care, it's, it's, it just sometimes happens. It seems to be... Uh, yeah, look at that. Healthcare is just fine. Where's Def Care? Do I have to click this? And Def Care. Alright. A lot of cemetery usage. But still room, I believe. And yeah! A lot of people dying right now, producing our availability on space. Where is where is a cemetery? It wasn't that's a playground weasel. Don't, I know they look similar, but don't confuse them. Makes people upset. Uh, no, that's garbage weasel. Don't confuse that either. Makes them even more upset. There it is. Okay. Cemetery. We have one over here. I think that's the only one. And I think we should maybe put one close again. First of all, it's gonna make him happy. Space already occupied. Uh, it's gonna make him happy if they have a cemetery. Also, it's gonna alleviate a lot of um, stress from the incinerators. As you can see, people are dying. Wait, what does it say? Police offer small. Recycling is an important step. Yeah, there's no problem. It's just they die. That might be a lot of uh, seniors dying off here. But I will still add a cemetery in here. Hopefully reducing a little bit of stress on the incinerators. And then we will empty it out once the incinerators are not that much under use anymore. I should probably open up the information panel. I'll look at all these adults and seniors. Yeah, see, seniors, 10 are dying. They're dying quite fast. I wish I could open... Can I open two... Informations, death care, okay. So deceased, 840. Um, I think we have too many deceased. Who's dying off? Teens are moving in, children are moving in. We have a lot of adults, I guess, dying off. It doesn't tell me though. So this is still a big mystery for me, why this is happening. Um, it can't be my policies, right? I mean, recreational use, I have banned smoking to make them ha healthier. They're not dying of any sewage that goes into the water. They just all die off everywhere. And the game is not telling me what it is. So, I will ignore that. Even though the population, 200 per round, are dying. Oh, right, we should maybe put an incinerator over here. Did I even... Oh, yeah, I have one over here. Never mind. Space already occupied. Oh, I'll, I'll put down a cemetery. M makes peeps happy so if I have a cemetery here. Yep. They're all happy now. And I uh, will empty them out eventually. Right now, deceased stored. We're finally recycling. Yeah. The elk residents abandoned. That person's waiting for transport. See, they're all dying, and then they get upset because nobody's picking them up, and I cannot even build enough cemeteries. They're even dying in the residential, uh, in the in, in the office zones. See, I have I've dead people in the home improvement center. I have dead people everywhere. Dead people everywhere, and it just disappears after a while. The best thing you can do is, I guess, have more. Um. Incinerators everywhere. Uh, crematoriums, not incinerators. I'm so sorry. Uh, you know, to, to, to work, deal with that all of the uh, sudden high demand. Uh, if I put another one down here. I mean, it makes them happy. But that's pretty much all you can do at this point. Is just have more of them to eventually... To still have more capacity than dead people. I wonder if this is still a weird bug, or if this is intentional. It might be. It might be. See, seniors are going down rapidly, like 10, 10 per week. It's just going down, adults are moving in. 
7,400 seniors. I still believe that this is the cause. We have a whole lot of people moving in at the same age, and then, you know, dying at the same age. Who knows? Dead person's waiting. And then, of course, people are abandoning because they have corpses laying around. Nobody likes those. Guys, just, just bring them over. Just bring them over. I know your local crematorium is a little bit slow. I knew. Just bring them over. It's fine. Um, this is nearly full. Here's this in use to cease process last week. Yeah. It'll get better. It'll get better. Don't you worry. Oh, are we running out of electricity? Ha, huh. haven't, haven't done much with that. We don't have the nuclear power plant that creates how much? 640 megawatts. Uh, we could put down another solar power plant. 160 megawatts. Now oh, that's cheaper than these. I'll, I'll put one down right next to this one. And plenty of electricity available again. Do we have enough water? Water availability is going down. So I'm gonna put another water pumping station over here. It's already connected to the pipe very well. And sewage treatment. Eh, I guess we could always add more. I guess. Alright. Hmm. You know what I'm currently wondering? If I buy this part off, and this, and put a dam there, if it's going to... Yeah, it should stop the water, I believe. Huh. I'm not very intrigued. I can probably try to build a dam across the whole thing, even though it would be incredibly expensive. I want to try that, guys. I want to play around with the dam right now. Give me power, give me the dam. Even if it doesn't generate a whole lot of water, I want to play with that. See, estimated production is zero megawatts. Zero. 16. And it costs 60,000. Yeah, that's just, that's just goofy. 48, ooh, really? 32. Want a little bit more. Yeah, like 48 over here. 60,000. Eh. We got it, we got it. I'm okay if it's a little bit more expensive. Want to see what we can do with this. See, this is now lowering the water level. Very much so. The simulation there is actually quite good. So if I was to say add another dam there. Let's say over here. 32 megawatts. It should reduce water even further, shouldn't it? I mean, it's gonna... Um, Accumulate here? Is, is this working? Mm. The water is definitely going up as you can see. And it should start to overflow very soon. And then generate electricity there. 32. Yeah, I mean I can shut this off completely. That would be great. Water is always going to flow through, but... Upkeep, 32,000, and the nice thing is, it's at the same time, it's a road that people can travel on. If I would connect it up. I was just curious to see if I can maybe uh, tell it to relocate building. I uh, could tell it to uh, not do anything, you know, like not let water through. But, nah, I can't. That would just lead to all sorts of problems. I am fairly certain, hmm. Yeah, I don't see a way to do that, which is fine. All right, let's go ahead and connect those up. I mean, they're generating electricity. Uh, 3,200. I did not know they were that expensive. Can I still get a refund for this? Not that I need... Ah, I don't need the refund. Nope. But, wow, those are expensive. You want to make sure that you get a lot of megawatts out of them. There might be maps where you need them. Let's have a quick look at our city. All right, I think the dead people... That person problem is handled. Let's look. Yeah, we we lost 300 seniors over this time, and this thing is pretty full. So I'm gonna unload it. Same. I'm I'm gonna keep this one filling up, and they're gonna unload it into the incinerators. So if I go here, death care. Wait, doesn't it show? Death care. Yeah, we have plenty of capacity now. Probably too much. That just seems to happen every once in a while. And I will turn off the uh, crematoriums. Not that they're too expensive. 720 per week. It's still 720 per week. 
Uh, and I will just turn them on when we need them again. Let's turn, let's turn them off. Let's turn the outer ones off. I think one in there will do just fine. And these, I will turn them off too. Saving up a little bit of money. And as soon as we have a wave of these uh, again, turning off. I will deal with this. 420. Yeah, that's that's plenty. And over here, I will turn off this one. This crematorium. Even if it makes people unhappy. 142. Okay, good, good. And we reach Colossal City. 44,000 citizens. Yay! Population of 44,000. I can build a new area. And let's see. And a nuclear power plant for that matter. Which I'm not going to build. But... I'm gonna check it out. And the next is Metropolis, where we can finally get an airport. 65,000. That's a lot. That's a lot of, lot of, lot of peeps. A lot of peeps. Okay. What zone do I want to go for next? Um, I'm considering this one, this whole area over here, over the river. Because, well, reasons. We still have, we, we have a lot of river here. We could, hmm. This is more space in general. This is more interesting thanks to the bridges. Um, this has highway access. This has highway access. Hmm. Hmm. Decisions over decisions. We have plenty of space for more sewage and water treatment, so we don't have to um, worry about this. Uh, that is going to block off a whole lot of area thanks to that stupid lake. Silly lake. Hmm. Hmm. Or we do the elongated thing over here and have a nice long zone there. Oh, guys. Decisions, decisions. <sighs> right now, I don't really need any zone, so I'll keep it. I will keep it and think about this later. This might be actually quite nice. This might be quite nice um, to have something more elongated. Or are we going to do a square around this? Oh, look at that little mountain there. Little hill. All right. Ridge. I think it's a ridge. I don't know. All right. These are emptied out. Finished emptying very, very well. Uh, I should probably... Yeah, no, no, don't destroy this one. Um, no more room. Oh, okay. Maybe I should allow them to fill this up again. Yeah, delete this, delete this. And instead, put down a few incinerators. How much is that one per upkeep? Uh, 1,440 per week. How much is that? 160. Yeah, we, we, we have we have the money. One, two, three, four. And I'll add one, two, three, four here. I'm gonna move them. Th those are too many. I just wanna have them a little bit more compact. And I know that was 120,000. Look at my 6.3 million. We have that back so fast. Mm, no more. Well, then empty it out. Multiple problems. Wait, what is the other problem? Building is set to empty. Condom is therefore not working. Oh, no, I know that. That's the plan. I want you to empty out while this one gets filled up. All right. How is our garbage dump doing here? 86% full. You know what? Empty this out. We have plenty, plenty of reserves. Plenty of reserves. Yeah, look at the incinerator status. We have double the capacity. Double the capacity that we actually need. Yeah, there are a few more. It's super expensive, but we won't, won't have to worry about this for quite some time. And now I'm going to start zoning more well, zones. More industry, shall we? Yes, we shall. Oh, what? Oh. Oh! Oh! It seems I screwed up, guys. Water is flooding. I think because I removed the dams, I flooded my own zone. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Wha I mean, there's no water overflowing anymore. It was just like a... Uh, this is how you create your own problems, guys. Are they still driving through there? Looks like it. Well, I have no idea how to handle this now. This is not going to flow back anytime soon. It just, uh, yeah, went over the river. Well, guess what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. Guess what I'm doing. We're going to dezone this for now. 
I'm not gonna deal with that. I'm gonna build a bridge over this little piece of land. Man! That's... Ah, oh, that's how you make your own problems. Fantastic weasel. Alright, they're gonna move out. I'm gonna help them with that. Remove that. And we're gonna do a little bit of bridge building. Man. <laughs> oh, I flooded my own zone. Wait, are you... Is it still overflowing there? Wait, is there more water coming in? Nah, it doesn't seem like it. Alright. Uh, can I remove this part without root? Ah, I probably would ruin the whole bridge. Let's see, four lane roads. I'll try. This, yeah, build a little bridge over here. Same with this. Uh, this is a two lane road. Guess who's going to uh, work around this? Oh man. God, I feel stupid for doing that. Yeah, that's the water physics in the game. If you haven't noticed, there's uh, quite impressive. Oh, that's too much. Um, is that only a two-lane road? Looks like looks like more. It's a three-lane road. This is six-lane. Why? Six-lane road. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Never mind. It's a three-lane road. Four-lane road. I'm so confused. Are you, are you this? No, you're you're not this. You're the. F what kind of road are you? You're not this either. Ooh, ow! This is a one-way road. Did I build a one-way road all this way? This makes no sense. Just realized that that a one-way road makes no sense there. That's why it was only a six-lane road. I'm like thinking, what is wrong with me? Nice curve. And up. Good enough. Uh, I think this is quite the road there. And I hope they're going to use it. That would be would be very nice if they did. Alright, we're avoiding the water, this little punt now that I created because I'm a smart guy. Yes, build it so it's over the water. Very well. Cost us a little bit. Oh! Are they not connected to the power anymore? Uh, they might be. Come on, move this over. Just to be sure. Because I think there's another connection leading this way, yeah. So, even if I destroyed that, that's fine. Alright, what we got here? We got a few dead people. What are you complaining about? And not enough goods to sell. Well, there's a high industry demand, I'll give you that. That was actually my plan to keep on adding here. Before I ruined the whole thing. Uh, okay, good. Two lane roads. We're gonna extend outwards from here. At least that's my idea. Uh, yeah, like this. A little straight road. It's fine. Do a circle. Go straight. Is that perpendicular? Not really. Uh, hard to tell right now, actually. And with a uh, curve. Right, and we got a nice zone that we're going to use for our purposes here. I'm gonna make an exit. Can I do that? An entry and an exit coming from this. That would be quite, quite amazing. I mean, this is made for highways, but uh, it'll work, actually. I think. You know, just because it's made for iOS doesn't mean we can't abuse that system. Um, at least I think so. And I wanna... I actually wanted to go over on this side. Hmm. Well, let's make, make our lives easier. And just... Come on. Branch off. I wanna do it like this. Come on! <laughs> Me and my roads. I would love to have a logical connection in between here. Mm. Okay. What if I make them go down this way? One way road. Good enough. And. 
exit on the other way. Up here. Distance to short space already occupied by what? Oh, probably by the big massive girder down there. Give me a straight road. I'm going to make this happen, whatever it takes. Uh, yes. That's what I wanted to see. Curved road. Uh, uh, go up. And Nope, I want you to slope too steep. I'm going to do it like this. This is a weird construction, but I think it works. That's that's what counts. All right, let's add industry. Wait, before I do that, I'm going to zone my water first. We learn from past mistakes. Even I'm not completely resilient to learning something in here. Zone this up. Give him maybe some electricity. It's bleeding over, but it wouldn't be the worst idea to make sure that they actually have electricity very well. We might have to connect it up later and draw in our industrial zone. Wonderful. That's what I want to see. Just like this. Yeah. I might remove the industrial zone around the one railroads though. Um, and Or here, it's good. This one needs to go. This would just look wonky. And I'll remove this. Good. Now we wait for them to move in again. Yes, there we go. Demand goes down. Yes, all according to plan. Uh, there's some fire. I should probably look at fire safety. Not too, not too well. Not doing too well here. How much would it cost for us to actually implement the whole smoke detector distribution for the whole town? Ah, way too much now. But we'll extend our apple pie craves here to this zone. I mean, they're both industrial, so why not set the same rules? Uh, very good. Apple pie craves. <laughs> the names I come up with. Okay, mm. let's do some roads in between. Regular plain ones. Uh, since this is not high density, I might just as well pick a two-lane road. Well, one one lane, that's fine too. Just for in between. There you go. I could have could have built that a little bit more closer to each other to save up some space. So let's try that again, like the professional that uh, professionals that we are. Okay, that's good enough. Close enough, at least. And uh, the worst, the worst. I'll I'll do some odd intersecting roads here. Space already occupied. Uh, the worst. Okay. You know what? We, what we will do? We will build a little road in here. If anything, it's gonna look nice. <laughs> and more in, uh, at least not now. I need more commercial before I zone more uh, industry, but we have some room there, some room left. Now let's go ahead and add this. Um, after that, I will go and zone an office district. People love their offices. What about education, by the way? Um, is a little bit low. University, on the other hand, ugh. I mean, we have the capacity, just not the peeps. If I put this here, it would make a whole lot of sense to put more residential zoning here. You know, it's after all, it's a university. Um, then again, I could have my uneducated or somewhat uneducated workers uh, work in Briar Rose Heights, and they're gonna take care of all the industry that we have here, and we're gonna build more offices over here and extend our, uh, you know, smart people zone over there. I'm not saying you can't be smart if you're not to the university, just, you know what I mean, right? Good. Hmm. A building has burned down. I know, that happens. I can't help it. Even I have, I have really good coverage. It says fire safety is very low, but they still burn down. I think that is just, yeah, that's just what happens. Right, and these guys need some workers. 
Yeah, I think we're running into a little bit of a demand here. So let's go in ahead and extend our zone for our residents. Man, I want the I want that airport so badly. Really want that airport. Uh, traffic is looking not too good. Mm. Space order. Oh, find a cemetery. Of course. It's always a cemetery. And one. Another road. Okay, good enough. Wish I could connect those up properly. Doesn't seem like it. We'll just make that zone smaller. Good enough. Oh, noise pollution, by the way. Does this... Eh, the train pollutes, uh, creates a little bit of noise pollution. Nothing we couldn't deal with. Traffic seems to be a bigger problem. That reminds me that I should add those tree zones over there. And I think we're going to need some water here as well. Okay. Let's see, water. Yeah, we need water. Totally forgot about water. As usual. <sighs> and we're going to... Take care of the noise pollution here as best as we can by upgrading to the four-lane road with decorative trees. I really like that. And that's going to reduce noise pollution. We have a look at this. I can't look at look at it while I upgrade it. That's good enough. It'll definitely help. Fan friggin' fantastic. This looks nice. Uh, I don't care about the commercial zones over here. Oh, wait. The offices. Oh, sorry. I upgraded to a wide road. I did not want to do that. I want you guys to have more space. Here. Accept my apologies. Here is the road that we had before. Alright, let's upgrade this one. To the tree road. The decorative tree road. That should help with the noise pollution. That is at least my idea. Not that it's too big here, but they are surrounded by louder buildings, the offices. Man, all that noise pollution. Yeah, this already looks much better. We could reduce noise pollution here as well a little bit by adding those trees. Mm. Is that the... Yeah, that's the right one. For the few offices we have here. And it might help with bleeding of noise. Who knows? And this must be a stressful road to drive on with all these intersections. Or just take forever. If you're try trying to drive through here. Uh, I gotta stop. Uh, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. Are there lights on everyone? Oh, yeah. Stop there. Stop there, man. Oh, looks like a city, doesn't it? Alright. Let's see. People are dying again. I don't even. I don't even bother with that worry about that anymore unless it's like a big you know epidemic and it tells me that it is 11,000 seniors man if they're dying again we're gonna be in a lot of trouble okay so we're getting closer to a milestone we need 7,000 more so my idea is to add those over here traffic seems to be doing okay we could even start a whole new zone actually mmm Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I want to start a new zone. Mm. By the way, why are these so much darker or it looks so much more colorful than the ones in the middle? I know why. I know why. Show me the districts. Wait, that's a district, right? Oh! Chestnut this. Oh! I thought that would be it, but. City planning, if you go high-tech housing, it's going to increase the land value and it's going to be expensive. Um, we did that in Chestnut Hills, remember? This is, uh, these are modernized with all these uh, power panels up there. If I turn this on for everything, it's going to be expensive potentially, but I'll, I'll, I'll risk it. 16,800. Let's see, yes, now we have a little upgrade symbol. <laughs> oh man. Look at that, that's crazy. Oh, this looks really modern now. They really modernized all the buildings. So modern. Much future. Many modern, much future. Wow. Such future. I like this. 
Oh! Now I'm seeing reflections in there. There's some simple cube reflection maps, but they look nice. <laughs> okay, and we have people dying, of course. That, that's what happens. Uh, what does the death care tell me? Uh, 390, 400. Yeah, we need, we, we need to turn those on again. It's that time of year. It's that time of year where they die. What, what is it, by the way? It's, uh, it's the middle of the year. It's warm and nice out. Stop dying, please. I'd, I'd appreciate that. Okay, turn them back on. Makes them all super happy. Um, and I think these just need to upgrade more. These are, they, they can't go super modern yet because they need to be upgraded. Uh, yeah, this is modern. This is modern and dense. Really dense. What I would really like to see is a little bit more variety in the game, but we can't expect that with the mods. And I will download all the visual visual variety that I can for this game to make Weasel City really look nice. And I wish they would upgrade a little bit further. Um, they can upgrade more. I wonder how. You know what? We should we should figure that out. We should make our industry upgrade more in the future, in the next episode. This is a good point to edit this, uh, end this. So many burnings, uh, so many buildings burning down, why? And I heard a weird sound. I heard a weird sound. No idea what that was about. Ha. Huh. We are finally recycling. Yes, we are. We finally are recycling since, you know, several episodes at this point. Recycling, turn on for the whole town. But hey, we just started, right? Who should I call if no one shows up to pick the dead? Mm. Animal control. That's a safe bet. You know. <laughs> what a weird note to end it on. In any case, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like and don't call animal control in that case. Just just saying. It's, it's not a good idea. Alright. I'm Weasel. I'm out. And I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.